Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So let's get started by looking at the physical buttons on the Pixel. So you have the volume rockers right here, volume down, volume up and the power button. What you may not know is if you want to turn off the Google Pixel 6, you need to click and release, not just power button on its own, but power and volume up together. So uh, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to show this one right now. So you can see power button here, okay, volume up button here. So I'm going to click release, not click and hold, that's click and hold. This is click release, okay. So I'm going to click and release the power and volume up. Let's do this together. So three, two, one, click release, and you can see you'll be brought to the power down menu. So you have power off, and then you have restart. And if you just tap on either option, or power off, and of course, restart. Now, if you want to do a hard reset or a forced restart, here's how you do it. So only do this if your Pixel 6 is frozen, okay? So right now I can you know, control the Pixel, but imagine the, uh, the screen is frozen and you want to fix it. What you do is you just click and hold power and volume up together. So you just click and hold these two buttons and you will not release either button until you see the Google logo. From there, you'd release both buttons, okay? So just click, hold, and then wait, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and you'll see the Google logo, and then it'll be brought back to the lock screen. Okay, let's talk about the gestures, because with Google Pixel 6, they've changed how you control your Pixel, so uh, it's okay, it should be quite easy to learn. I'm gonna open up an app to show you how to do stuff. So if you do a flick where this little line is, okay, so if you flick your finger, uh, it will exit out of nap. So we'll do this right now, little flick, boom, Open up the messages, flick, okay. Just try opening on the app and then quickly closing. You'll get used to the gesture. It doesn't have to be like a curve like I'm doing. You can go straight forwards or, you know, uh, to the right. Now, sometimes you can see if you go too far to the right, it's gonna open up another app, but just get used to that motion and then you'll be good to go. Now, in order to access the multitasking, so you can see all of the apps which were opened up in the past, you're gonna slide up but instead of releasing your finger, you're just going to hold, okay? So you can see I'm not releasing from the screen, and I only release once multitasking is activated, okay? I accidentally did a screenshot there, so we'll just do it one more time, boom, boom. Now, when you are in an app itself, you need to slide up, hold, and multitasking will only activate once you release your finger, okay? So slide up, hold, release, boom. And a little tip, is the Pixel 6 will actually vibrate and you'll feel the vibration. When you feel that vibration, that means that you can release your finger from the screen, okay? So once you feel the vibration, you slide up, you feel the vibration, release your finger and you'll be good to go. Now when you're multitasking, there's a bunch of things you can do. So you can see here, we have the screenshot button. I accidentally activated that one earlier, but it would just take a screenshot. Boom, you see the screenshot is taken. Now, sometimes you may want to take a screenshot, but you don't want to activate multitasking. So remember the buttons again, power and volume down. You're going to click and release those two buttons together. Okay, so click, release, power, and volume down. Three, two, one, let's go. And you can see a screenshot will be taken. If you are having issues with that, then you can, of course, just use the multitasking. Now, if you want to switch between apps using multitasking, you just slide up and hold again to go to multitasking view. Slide either to left to right or right to left, and then tap on the app and you'll be able to switch apps. You can also slide across to the left and right where the home, like the line is, like slide across, boom, boom. You can easily switch between applications nice and fast. It's a little bit glitchy, not perfect, but it does get the job done. Don't slide up too high though, otherwise you either go home or activate the multitasking. Now, if you have a bunch of apps in multitasking and you just want to close out all them, slide from left to right until you're on here, and you should have the option which says clear all, tab on clear all, and then all of the applications in the multitasking will be closed out. Now, you may wonder how do I split screen? So you have two apps open at once. So open up the first app you want to split screen, and open up the second app. Then you want to activate multitasking by doing the slide up and hold, and then you're going to see here the logo for the app, tap on the logo, tap on split top, and then tap on the second app, and now you're in the split screen view. Now, you may have accidentally made it so that the app on the top is on the top, and you want the app 
to be on the bottom first app and then the second app from the bottom to top. So in order to switch where the apps are, just double tap this white bar here, boom, and it'll switch, okay? And you can do that one unlimited times. Now if you wanna make, let's say the bottom app larger and the top app smaller, just slide the bar, and you can see 75%, 25%, 50-50, 75, 25. Now if you slide all the way down, you'll close the bottom app. If you slide all the way up, you'll close out of the top app. Okay. You may want to customize some settings on your Pixel 6. So let's go to Settings app. And you know, most of this stuff for the most part is trivial. Uh, so if I go to the battery settings, you can have stuff like showing the battery percentage. So that will show up at the top right hand side. Of course, battery saver, it's going to save battery. Um, what that will do essentially is it will just restrict tasks, make the phone a little bit slower, but you get better battery life. So you may want to use that if your Pixel is, you know, at slow battery. Then you have the storage options right here, which will just show all of the storage, uh, which is being taken up by a pixel. That can be helpful. Uh, the main stuff I think you should change though is wallpaper and style, first of all. So you're gonna see here, wallpaper colors and basic colors. So you can change the color of the clock on your lock screen, okay? Just tap on the color, boom. And also change the color of the UI. So your UI is changing color, and I change. Boom, 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 just like that, okay? If I tap on change wallpaper, you can select default wallpapers and also wallpapers in your photo library. Now you may notice dark mode turned on. It turned on automatically, and the reason why it turned on automatically is because of well, the time. So if you want to turn on dark mode manually, have it on or off, you saw me, I just did a bit fast there. So you slide down once from the top, slide down one more time, and now you're brought to the control center. So if you have this little arrow, you can tap on it, and then you'll have an expanded view where you have a bunch of options. So maybe switching the Wi-Fi network, stuff like that, or you know, alarm, alarm settings, stuff like that. Now, if you slide from right to left, or slide one more time, you see dark theme, tap on it to turn it off, tap on it to turn it on. If you long press, you can sometimes be brought into a part of settings, okay? So let's say this here, dark theme, and there was a dark theme area inside the settings. Of course, I can use the toggles. Now, sometimes the toggles you may want here aren't showing up. So I can't think of an example, but let's just say I wanna add custom toggle. Well, you just tap on the edit, and now you see all of these toggles, okay? So if you scroll down, where it says hold and drag to add tiles, these are toggles or tiles, that's what Google calls them, which are not in the control center. So you just drag and then drop, boom, drag, drop, boom, okay? And you do the reverse to remove an app uh, or toggle from the control center. Now, here is the deal. By default, you'd usually tap on the back button to go back, but did you know you can just slide from left to right? And when you see this arrow here, you release, that will also go back. You can't go back, of course, when you're home. But if I just go to like settings app, you can either slide from left to right when you see the arrow, release, and same here. Now, you may have watched this far and you're like, you know what, I, I'm looking at using, using those gestures. I just wanna be using the buttons, okay? We can change that. So if we go to settings, I scroll all the way down, all the way down until we see here system, tap on system, and then you're gonna see gestures you're going to see here system navigation and you can change between gesture navigation and free button navigation there you go there are the old buttons right there now you're probably going to be taking a lot of photos on your pixel so let's open up the camera app and if you just want to take a photo you can just click and release the button boom boom and you can also use the volume rockers to take a picture okay volume up volume down Boom. Of course, if you click on the power, it's gonna lock the pixel. All right, if you wanna access the settings, tap on this little icon here. You can have more lights. So this is dark mode, if you see that one. Uh, it will only activate when you're in like really low light conditions. I'm in studio lighting, so it won't activate. Uh, but this will just, you know, use low light. And then of course, flash. So this will activate the flash, which is on the back of the pixel. And that will just help out with our photos. 
you also have a top shot. So flash can't be on when top shot is on. Uh, it's a bit misleading. Basically, what it is is like live photos on the iPhone. So we'll take a picture and then also take like a couple of seconds of video. And then from there, you can like get some photos out of that. I recommend you turn it off. Then you have timer. So when you have the timer on, when you click the shutter button, which is what this is right here, it will take three seconds or 10 seconds before the picture is taken. And then you have the ratio. So, you know, right now it's four by three, you can see for every like four centimeters down, it's for every uh, four centimeters down, it's three to the right. And you have 16 by nine, for every 16 down, it's uh, nine to the right. And then once you want to take a picture again, Tap on the button. I have the time on, I'm just gonna tap on the X, go down and turn this one off. If you wanna switch modes, you just tap on the mode you wanna to switch to. Okay, so video, boom, you have all these different options here. You also have the same settings. You have resolution and frame rate. So resolution is like the quality. So the higher the quality, the more crisp, I guess you could say the video looks like. Um, frames per second is the higher the frame rate, the more smooth. So if you look at 30, okay, it may look a bit laggy. If you tap on 60, it's gonna look a lot more smooth. And for both photo and video, you do have more settings. We have a bunch of advanced settings you can play around with, that you can take a look at. I do have a dedicated tutorial for the camera app. So if you would like to take a look at that, that we link in the description. And I also have modes here. So you have the panorama mode, photo mode and lens mode. You can also slide across here to just switch between menus as well, if you would like to. All right, that should cover you know, the basics of how to use Google Pixel 6. I've covered the gestures, I've covered the buttons, I've covered the customizing the settings, and also taking photos. But I make a lot of videos on my channel, okay? So I'll have a bunch of other stuff you may wanna learn on Google Pixel 6, which will be in the description down below. So, you know, you wanna learn everything. If you wanna learn everything, and check it out. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.